So go ahead and check those out, but be sure you subscribe. Subscribing is key. So all you have to do is just go to youtube.com slash heatpressnation and subscribe to the channel. That way, every time we come out with new content, whether it's a tutorial, um, whether it's a how-to video, uh, you know, we're showcasing some new product. That way you can be in the know uh, and keep your business up to date with some of the freshest, hottest products and how to use them. That's right. So make sure you get those subscribes in. Once again, it's going to be youtube.com slash heatpressnation. Make sure you give us some thumbs up. You know, we won't get mad at you. And then uh, we do have an awesome hashtag. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment here, but it looks like we got the uh, instruction on how you can sign up for your alerts. Uh, I want to go ahead and make sure you guys are always in the know for everything that we got going on here. Uh, super simple, Jed. Uh, what do we? What do they got to do here? Yeah. So all you do to turn on live notifications is, and if, you know, can we get that video one more time? We're a little off guard there. All right. So you're gonna open up, of course, the app first. Duh. Go to the video. Uh, and once you press on the video, uh, you're gonna want to tap the three dots in the top right corner and then uh, the menu will come up, just turn on live notifications. That's it. So it's the three dots in the top right corner or right corner, I'm not sure which one is your right, uh, but we're gonna do, uh, you're gonna tap the three dots and then just turn on live notifications. This is important because anytime we go live, and we go live several times throughout the week, so it's no longer just the Thursday morning lives. We're live throughout the week. Uh, we're, we're sharing new stuff. Got some cool tutorials planned That's right. for those lives, so it's really cool. So if you want to be notified of any of that sort of thing, be sure to do that like we just showed you in the video. Uh, top, the little three dots in the top corner of this video that you're watching right now and uh, just turn on live notifications. There we go, guys. You'll never miss out on any of our awesome surprise on-the-go content, as well as our scheduled broadcasts like the HPN Live. Want to make sure you guys got every opportunity to get involved in all of our awesome contests, giveaways, and all the fun times that we like to have up here. So exactly. yeah, make sure you get those notifications in. And uh, we do have the iPad today, guys. So if you have right questions there. about any of the processes, products, I'm anything we're going over today, or you just want to give us some hellos or shout outs, make sure you get active. Let's have this a fun one. You know, the comments are right here. We'll be getting to as many of the questions while we are live um, as that we can, but for anything we don't address, you know, my boy here and I, we always yeah. go through the comments afterwards and try and get that information for you guys. And uh, I'm forgetting something. I feel like it's in the top of the screen. Right? I feel like it's in the top this corner of the screen. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Hashtag HPN creators, guys. We love seeing what you guys are doing. In fact, this week we're uh, we have a new. Um, section segment of the show that we're launching and it's post of the week what so it's very cool we pulled some posts uh from the hpn creators group and the hashtag hpn creators uh hashtag and so if you're sharing stuff on the hashtag or in the group uh you know we reach out to a couple people every week we want to showcase your guys awesome work let everybody know what's going on and maybe give some inspiration to some people yes but know, hey like you guys can do this did you know that you could do that so anyways Super cool stuff, but make sure that whatever you're posting, uh, using your heat press nation equipment, stuff that you're purchasing us from us, the vinyl, your sublimation, pretty much whatever it is, we want to see it. So hashtag HPN creators, guys. Be sure to use that one. So we, we're giving away more stuff. Oh, we're giving away more stuff. So now, okay. instead of just the one prize a week in the cup, um, we're giving away two prizes a week. So now what? we have, of course, today we have the Cameo Grand Prize. That's going to be for everybody who liked and shared last week. Um, but we do have a second prize uh, for our favorite post of the week. Awesome. Awesome. You guys hear that? You know, we want to work with you guys, so definitely make sure you get every entry in as you can. Use the hashtag HPN Creators on all your social media, your Twitter, your Facebook, your Instagram, all that good stuff. And then as all, always, make sure you get that like and share in, and you guys have every chance in the world to win some of these awesome prizes. So uh, as we said, make sure you guys get active and involved <laughs> in the comments today. And uh, let's make this a fun one, guys. It's Mother's Day season. Let's do this, guys. All right, so first up, actually, you know, before we get in there, I see we have a bunch of comments yes, already. Like, awesome. Who, who's chiming in here? Well, we got our girl Angela Hinson saying hello from Tennessee. Tennessee. Uh, we got some highs from Alabama from Lisa Boyer. Wishes us a great week. Uh, oh, our girl, sweet. Our girl Paula Warner says it's pouring buckets, but at least it's not snowing in Pennsylvania. Oh, man. we Send some of the cool weather this way. <laughs> we're, still, we're still waiting for it. We're still waiting for winter over here. Gosh. It's practically summertime outside right now. Uh, Elizabeth Ortiz says, good morning. They are ready. I think she got nice, her entry in. Nice. I think I may have saw that in here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be giving away away in just a moment. So we got some hellos from Texas. Andrea Servin. Oh, greetings. greetings. Got uh, Lisa Boyers already liked and shared, as well as uh, Desiree Cisco. Nice. And uh, we got a lot on here. We got, oh, this is a sweet one there. Look at it from uh, Nona Rodriguez. 
Call your mom, Azor, who raised you. Send them lots of love. Uh, yeah, we, yes. if we can echo that definitely sentiment back will. to you guys, you know, definitely a time of gratitude and love and, you know, showing appreciation. So Mother's Day season, guys. We're yeah. going to show you guys some awesome tips and tricks. I don't know if any of you guys are procrastinators or last-second <laughs> folks. I mean, not like us, of course. Of course We're always preparation, uh, preparation agent ready. So wow. uh, there we go. Um, <laughs> let's get this thing rolling, Jared. Let's do this. Okay, so first, uh, one of the things that uh, we like to talk about here on Heat Press Nation, we actually get lots of questions is layering how many layers can i do what layers on top of what so i thought hey layering can be really amazing and uh, if you want to make something for your mother and again this is the mother's day episode so if you want to like make something cool for your mom for the mom figure in your life uh maybe your children's mother guys i know we got some guys bunch of guy heat pressing heat pressers out there so right. uh Absolutely, guys. Yeah. The time is now. There's no excuse. You have the equipment. You have the knowledge base. So let's go ahead and you know, show you guys some awesome stuff and layering. So, you know, that is a good question. You know, we, we get that a lot, you know, on the lines here. How about how many layers would you say is advisable for something like that? So if you're going layer on top of layer on top of layer on top of layer, you, we usually max out at about three or four. Um, now, if you, you're talking about layers uh, as in side by side, yes. like that you're pressing different color layers. Mm -hmm. You can, I mean, as many as you want to. I think Caesar, they, they posted a picture the other day, had something like 20 plus layers on it, like just Wowzers. a bunch of different colors. So today we have a graphic. It's We're gonna be pressing six different colors uh, and we're pressing a couple of colors. We have like two easy weeds on there and like four glitters. Oh, wow. And uh, we're gonna show you guys how you can do this without messing anything up. Okay, So. Awesome. Uh, so we yeah, got, let me bring it out. We got a heat transfer vinyl, lasagna, casserole, uh, seven layer cheesecake. Ooh. We got going six layers, six layer. There so we go. So I actually already kind of, now, if you're wondering, oh, well, how'd you pre press everything? No, these are not pre pressed. All the layers are separate. But Excellent. since they come on the adhesive backing, uh, I kind of just had this for a pre vis, a, a pre visual here. There we go. So we have a really cool plain white apron. It's but not going to be plain in just a moment. Yep. <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth here. So. So we have the apron right here, and we're just going to show it off really, um, really quick, and then we're going to actually get straight to pressing this. So our graphic's going to go right about here, and you can see it a little bit better now. Mom, the best in the world. And so you see that we have, we have the, and so in glitter, I'm just going to kind of go down the line. We have the grass green for the leaves. We have blush and lavender glitter for our roses, and then we have galaxy black glitter. So galaxy black glitter is, cool. is really cool. It has like some extra depth. So it's a Absolutely. little more sparkly than black glitter, but not as uh, gnarly as black gold glitter. No, absolutely. The galaxy black, that's one of the, <coughs> not classic colors, but it's been a little more of a recent release, I feel like, right? right? right. Mm -hmm. So definitely really cool, an extra dimension to that shimmer effect there. If you guys haven't worked with it yet, highly recommend checking out galaxy black. Yeah, so Galaxy Black is amazing. And then we also have in standard Easy Weed our base layers, which are going to be hibiscus, which is a new color, I think, for 2018. Awesome. Uh, I want to say it might have come out late 2017, but I mean, uh, relatively speaking, it's a very new color. So hibiscus looks super sweet on this graphic. And then we have, of course, black being our main outlying base, other base layer. Awesome. So when so you're saying, well, how do I, how do I like organize my... Uh, my layers when I'm doing this many layers. So here's what we're gonna talk about real quick, and this is before we even press it. So first of all, glitter cannot go on top of glitter. So it can go on top of regular Easy Weed, which is what we're doing here, but glitter cannot go on top of regular glitter. So, you, so you'll notice for our roses, they're all, or, and, and the leaves, they're all separately, they're all separate beside themselves. Like the, this rose is not on top of that one, and none of the glitter is on top of any other glitter. All so right. you want to keep that separate. You want to look for designs. This design we licensed uh, from a stock photo uh, website. Uh, we paid for it. Unlike a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you know, we, we do everything no. by the book here. You know, you definitely, yeah. you know, don't want to get into any of that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah. yeah, always license your work, guys. So okay, so now you can kind of see better. This is the mom graphic, and even then, here we have two layers. Be very careful. You don't want to crease it. So here we go. So this is actually, that goes right there. This is the base layer. It's like the foundation we're gonna be building yeah. upon oh, here. Oh, I'm sorry, you know like. what? In this case, that one goes we're going with first. That one first. We're going this one first. Okay. Yeah. For this particular graphic, because the way I set it up is that I set it up um, to where the black would just kind of go over 
and that way this uh, the hibiscus layer would fill the black instead of gotcha. overlaying over the black. So okay, I see what you did there. So as you can see here, hibiscus is going first, and we're just this is this is going to be a pretty gnarly press. So now one other thing that you definitely want to consider when pressing is is the time and temperature. So now we have this at our heat press set to 320 degrees there we go. because we have a lot of glitter going on. That's and right. since we're pressed for time, oh get my. it? Oh, you slay me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Since we're pressed for time, um, we do, uh, we're going to keep it at 320. Now you're saying, won't that burn your easy weed? We're just going to stamp the easy weed for about two seconds, just long enough to get it to stay in place. Um, trust me, it's going to get a full pressing because of all the different layers that we're pressing today. Remember, we're going for six separate presses. So you don't have to worry if you're only going for two seconds. If you have enough pressure and if your press is hot enough, two seconds will be just fine to keep it in place. And then, uh, you know, that way you can peel it off and then go for the next one. There we go. So uh, the only thing, oh, sorry, one more thing we're missing and which I wanted to point out. Now these are things that you always want to consider when you're heat pressing is that we have this seam right here, we have a little uh, clasp type uh, thing right we do, here. We, do. we have a fat pocket right here. So uh, in this case, we can do two things. We can use either our tea padded or our pressing pillow. Gotcha. I believe, I'm totally unprepared for this, but right here, I have my soft fusion pressing pillow. So we're going Look for the that. pressing pillow, to, just out of nowhere. How convenient, right? excellent, excellent. Uh, super convenient, no there trouble at all. All right. Uh, so it looks like we got all the layers separated. That was great organizing. I love when Jared oh, does you. this, kind of gets them all together. Not only can you sort of this. preview your work, so to speak, but, you know, really kind of keeps some of that adhesive from grabbing onto other, you know, maybe loose fibers and right. just keeps all your transfers in place ready to work. Yeah, if you have like a, like a pro-grade non-stick sheet, like something that's made of this Teflon material, you could store your transfers uh, up against that. Um, and then, because what you don't want to do is you don't want any dust pet hair, your hair, anything getting onto here. Dander. You don't want anything. Yeah, you don't want anything getting onto this because this will pick up everything. So if you want to store this, you could just store it up against another one, like the the, the glossy side. You don't want to go sticky side against sticky side. That'll ruin it. Um, but the glossy, oops, oh, there we go. Grabbing some stuff there. Yeah, that's for later. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can you can store it, uh, store it, um, you know, super easy, barely an inconvenience. So. Fantastic. All right, so we got this up to temperature. Let's Tag do in. this, man. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's come around and get started here, guys. So let's just, oh, we got a little little piece of something there. I'm going to put this on for Estevan, and while he's getting prepped, I'm just going to do a very simple pressure test. Now, you're, you might be asking, isn't shouldn't there be more going into your pressure test than this? The answer is yes, but since I'm a trained professional, uh, I can kind of figure it out just by feeling it. How much pressure is going to be necessary? Looks like we need just a little bit less here. So you, of course, you always want to do a pressure test. Um, if you want to know how to do the paper pressure test, uh, check out our YouTube channel. We have a video on that. That's going to be pretty darn perfect. Uh, so I'm going to pull this off. And Esteban, why don't you go ahead and uh, take it away? Absolutely, Jared. Um, as you mentioned, always want to make sure you have adequate pressure. You know, as you become more familiar with your machine, you get that pro Jared Barbosa touch where you can <laughs> kind of, you know, feel it. But as you're developing that, the pressure test is definitely something we recommend before you get started on your job. I would say most issues with vinyl not successfully adhering, and I've heard this from my boy Joe, um, is going to be a pressure related. So you definitely want to make sure you have adequate contact when you're going to apply any of your designs. Let's go ahead and get this here. Now, as you can see, we do have a little bit of crease action, some foldage here from this awesome blank air Jared source for us. Really quickly, we're just going to go ahead and give this a quick pre-press. This is going to try and give us a little bit more of a smooth, even work area, as well as alleviate any possible moisture that may be in the fabric. We're going to give that just about five seconds there, just to give us that nice smooth area. Here we go. And look at that. I wish I could iron all my clothes like this. Okay, right, so it super easy? that's a lot easier than uh, all that other jazz. Okay, uh, oh, I stole your hibiscus transfer. That's okay. Let's get this here going here. As you can see, the back of the hibiscus is actually white, as a number of Caesar Easy Weed is. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, go and, ahead. and they do that so you can tell the difference. I think hibiscus looks a little bit like a couple other colors, um, so they color it white just so you can uh, tell the difference a lot easier. Uh, I know for the difference between red and bright red is the backing. 
Red is just a plain backing, but bright red, they gave it a white Whites. backing. That's right. That's so that right. way you can, you know, tell a little easier. What do they about my position? Uh, I think you want to put a little north? higher, a little lower, right there. Right okay. there and cool. center it. That looks about... And again, we're live. We're pressed for time. Normally, uh, we would be using our T-square it, but since not, it's not saying that we're in a hurry. We're but just a little pressed for time. We're pressed for time. And we're showing you the process of layering. Of course, um, if you guys are watching this, you always want to lint roll your, uh, your garment beforehand um, and give it a pre-press, which we did. We did the pre-press. We did. It looked pretty clean. Got so those did, creases right out of there. Got them right out of All there. All right, so. so ready to get this one on here? Let's do it. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to press this for just a couple seconds, as Jared said, with that higher temperature. And then we're just going to go ahead and activate that on there so we can get this in place. This is yep. going to be the foundation for the rest of our layers here. It's looking really nice. And the good thing about Caesar Easy Weed is you don't got to wait to peel it. It's a hot peel. All right. So and what do we got now, next? So next we have our black layer. And the reason why we're... we're we're kind of uh, tag teaming on this is because I designed it and Esteban's pressing it and uh, just want to make sure that it's uh, <laughs> we did it right here. No, you did a great job, man. Super easy to work with here. I'm just positioning this. As Jared said, we're putting the black over the hibiscus so it kind of fills in that mom text area. Yeah. Gets that nice and full effect. Let's show the, let's show the, the peoples out there. Take a look so you there. can see here, and you know, let's for just really quick, I don't mean to mess up your area. We're going to, oh, I did mess it up. Oh, well, well we're going to show you really quick. Tear it up. Just so you can see. So you want to line it just right. If it's off just a little bit, then that is undesirable. All right? <laughs> oh, so God. make sure you take your time. Another reason why the hibiscus is on bottom is because I made it a little bigger than necessary. That way, when I overlay my uh, black on there, it'll, it'll be a little bit easier. It's going to cover the edges. We're not going to have any gaps. Uh, any whites in the edges. So let's go ahead and, Esteban, if you don't mind, line that up really quick here. Absolutely. My pleasure. Let's go ahead and get this back on here. All right. Let's go ahead and we're going to carefully position this here. Jared did a great job with the cuts on this using his silhouette cameo. Just going to go ahead and get this carefully positioned here. Thank you guys so much for your patience. And that looks pretty good to me here. What do you guys, what do you think, Jared? That looks great, Esteban. Awesome, fantastic. Thank you so much. No, it looks, I didn't... looks amazing, sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and let's give this a transfers ready another here. quick press here. Just a couple seconds, right? Yeah, this that's, temperature? Actually, that's good. Cool. Yep. At this temperature, you can really go for like two seconds and it'll be perfectly fine. All right. Yeah. Mom moment of truth, let's see. Let's see Gorgeous. there. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Actually, it looks like we have a little bit of lifting right there. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the pressure on the press just a hair. Uh, and then we're actually going to go ahead and repress this. So As is. Uh, when working with pressing pillows, of course, you always want to make sure you have good pressure on there. If it's too soft, because it is a pillow with kind of like a squishy surface, uh, you, you do want to make sure that your pressure is, you know, you're getting a firm press on there. Uh, not too firm because then you'll flatten your pillow, but not too soft because then Right here, we did have a little bit, a little pinch of lifting. So anyways, we're just going to repress it right here and yeah, fire away. All right, here we go. Just a couple seconds, right, Jared? Yeah, and maybe we could have gone too short, so we're going to let this go for about, there we go, I should be good. About, we, did, we did about four seconds, I counted. And there we go. And That's there we go. That's a gorgeous. nice bond. There That's we go. That's a good adhesion. Okay, fantastic. So now, here's the fun right. part. Look at all these other <laughs> look at all these other colors that we have to press. So the next one I think we can do, let's get the green on there. So we're gonna pull okay. that off. We're gonna pull this off. So, you, so you'll see like we have several different colors here. So, so the green is just the leaves and then of course we have this in black glitter. And right. let's get that on there. Let's do it. Now here's one thing that you guys may notice and which we might have to do right now, we'll see. Uh, when layering larger designs like this, and I say large, I mean this is about 10 inches, um, Caesar Easy Weed um, tends to shrink just a little bit under under temperature. And if it, or, and if not just, it's not the Easy Weed, the garment itself tends to shrink just a little bit under so much heat. So what you might find is that uh, the more and more you get into layering, which is why it's important to only press for like two to four seconds each layer, uh, the more and more you get into layering, the harder it's going to be to get everything to line up. So what we can do in this case, here, watch, let me see that. 
It's getting mostly there for yeah, me. Yeah, so since we're not getting full coverage, uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to lay these down. Section them off. Section by section, which will allow you to focus. And actually, so this one is, hold on. There we go. So this one's bottom right. Then I'm going to cut out the bottom left for you. So don't don't be afraid to do this, guys. This is kind of the name of the game when you're pressing so many layers over such a, a large distance and so many different sections too, might I add. So this is really because at the end of the day, it's like how how good is your product gonna look? That's what's really important. So let's go ahead and I'm just trimming these down here. Don't mind me. That's gonna be the oh you'll figure it out. Uh, yeah right there and so you'll, now you'll notice that we're getting a whole lot better coverage uh, on our green leaf designs than we would have been if we would try to lay them all at once you're telling me let's see here cool and we got oh we got one more there we go that looks gorgeous okay so now you can see that our green leaves we're getting a heck of a lot better coverage on them now that we've laid each section out individually. And so if you're layering text, um, like several sections of text, uh, you're layering things aren't lining up, feel free to separate them and just lay them individually afterwards. That's why we have the nice black, you know, outline on here, which kind of, which acts as our guide. So Stevan's ready to roll. Um, and right. let's press this puppy for about, we should go, since it's glitter, let's go about five seconds on this. Five seconds, you got it. We got a nice good pressure on there. And uh, we got five. There, there we, go. we go. So now the only difference is we'll have to just uh, peel it off. Here, I'll help you out here. There we go. There we go. And those are peeling perfectly. There we are. All nice. right, guys. Look at that. We are making progress. We are almost there. Let's get a round of applause for yeah. this awesome design here. All right. So now we have our blush glitter rose. Let's do this. Uh, is this upside down? Is the right way? Yeah, you're gonna have to spin it. I have to. I had to spin it a couple times when I uh, when testing it yeah, out. You there. spin me right round, round. Right round, round. Oh, that's how it goes, right? Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. Yeah, and, and we're get just this. gonna do this. You know what? I think we can kill two birds with one stone here. You know what? Why don't we layer? Since they're not touching or overlapping, you can actually place these two at once. So let's go ahead and put the uh, our title on there. It's in the Black Galaxy glitter. It says the best in the world. And if you guys are just tuning in right now, we appreciate your patience. We're going six layers deep on this transfer. You heard it right, six layers deep. We got like four layers of Caesar glitter and we have another two layers of Caesar Easy Weed. We're going in on this Mother's Day apron. We're gonna have our big reveal in just a second. Um, we're pressing, we're actually killing two birds one stone. We're pressing two layers in one press since they're not overlapping anywhere. So let's go back to this. All right. Uh, and Esteban, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's give this about five seconds. Uh, we got our blush petals. We got our galaxy black glitter there with the text, the best in the world. Let's go ahead and give this another pre-press, about just five seconds about here to activate seconds. that glitter adhesive there. And that should be good. All right. We are we making progress. Let's go. Looking killer, bro. Looking killer and this is it this is the final step we have our i believe this is glitter lavender our final pair of roses here and oh, i right. i'm you're gonna have to uh no i think it's the other way yeah oh yeah <laughs> <I think. laughs> we're about to find out right and so we're, we're layering the glitter over over it. and you when you guys see the finished product uh hopefully you dig it because i dig it i, I think, think we're in position gorgeous. All right. Let's do it. Now this we one we're going to do for the cool, we're, since this is our final layer, we're going to go down for the full 10 seconds uh, just to make sure that everything is properly transferred. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. 10 seconds on the clock. All right. Take it away, Black Series. Boom. So, and again, as, as Stephen mentioned, this is our HPN Signature Series. Uh, I'm sorry, Signatures. This is our HPN Black Series uh, Heat Press. This is the Swing Away, the 15-inch by 15 inch model. Big fan of this one. Looks like our time's up. Let's peel that away. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. That looks amazing. Awesome. Why don't, awesome. We show, why don't you show that to yeah, the camera? Yeah, let's do it. Let's take so a look here. So this is 
I'm actually a little bit more impressed with it than I thought I was going to be. Look at that. So right there. We have, and we're going to go down to layers again. So I have my scissors. Here's my pointer. We have our hibiscus underlayer for the mom lettering. Then we have our black kind of outline. It's just, you know, it's everything. <clears throat> we have our blush, I want to say. No, no, no. I want to say this is blush glitter. And I apologize for not getting the right color on the center rose. This other rose is lavender, lavender glitter. Mm -hmm. And then we have, this is actually called grass, which I love because it's the perfect color if you need grass or leaves on your, all the leaves are going to be the grass glitter. And then finally, the best in the world, our text is going to be galaxy, uh, or sorry, black galaxy glitter. There we go. Which this, man, I love that. No, that came out awesome, man. That you know, layered that effect really adds really another cool. dimension to your designs. Let's pull this out here. Let's get this all nice and pretty, just like mothers love. Mothers love things nice and pretty. And there we go. So this is cool. Honestly, if your mom's rocking this apron, she's like not just by virtue of her goodness, but by virtue of this really amazing apron. <laughs> She's going to be the best mom in the world, if not the best mom in the kitchen. Uh, guys, we're really big fans here. So again, six layers deep. I think it deserves a handshake. Congratulations. Hey, teamwork makes the dream work. Absolutely. Teamwork makes the dream work. No, that came out awesome, man. It's uh, going to be a wonderful gift or sample. So uh, yeah, yeah, it came out awesome. As you can see, guys, just took just a few minutes. Uh, that pro tip there really helped a lot, especially layering this larger green section here, just kind of compartmentalizing it into the different areas, making sure, because as Jared said, under temperature, vinyl, fabric, right. you know, under high heat. I mean, you guys ever put something in the dryer, maybe it came out a little snugger, same principle, right? Exactly. Okay. So that's why we want to uh, just be careful on that. Now, we do have another cool craft uh, for you guys to try out another cool project, but first, I'm gonna power off this heat press because we need power on that heat press. And you are not, your eyes do not deceive you. We have our signature series mug press on deck because we have some mugs coming up right now on Heat Press Nation Live. Before we continue, let's check out the comments. Yeah, absolutely. Do you guys have any questions at all about any of the processes, any of the products, pretty much anything that we're doing here today, please feel free to check in uh, with us in the comments. We're gonna to try to get to as many as we can live. Um, but of course, any questions that we don't get to live, we're going to be uh, addressing them individually immediately after the broadcast. There we go. That's right. You heard it from the man, guys. I uh, want to thank everyone so much for getting those entries in by liking yes. and sharing the post. to be automatically entered. Uh, we got Lee Volick already getting in the action. Courtney Taylor. We got a hello from Wisconsin from Donna. Greetings. Greetings from California. We got uh, some shout outs from uh, Robbie in uh, sunny southwest Florida. Oh, nice. The other Sunshine State. There we go. We got better oranges. Uh, <laughs> we got a hello from Utah. Out back to Kelly. Thank you so much. Greetings, greetings. Got hi from Etta in Mississippi. Nice. Man, we got people from all over here. All huh? over. We got uh, um, our gal over in Wisconsin. Uh, we got Desiree from New Jersey. Kelly's like and sharing. Very Let's cool. see Very here. Cool. We got some hellos from Shirley Harris. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Lee Volick, love the shimmer of galaxy black and rainbow white. I think those two kind of oh, came out together yeah, those at are the same super time. Cool. Yeah, very similar, I'd say, shimmer effect uh, kind of on both of those. Yeah, vials, man, wouldn't you say? We should have, uh, we should have done some rainbow white glitter. Maybe we'll save that some one for, for a next future broadcast. broadcast. That's yeah. right, that's right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, Desiree Cisco, got your press for time joke. Yes. There thank we go. You. Appreciate uh, it. Shout out to Stevie Steve from NYC tuning Greetings. in. Let's see here. What else we got? Um, Man, a lot of love coming in today. Honestly, thank you guys right. so much for uh, joining us here in the comments. Absolutely. Joining us here on Facebook Live. Do we got any questions about any of the... Uh let me see here. Elizabeth Ortiz is, uh, you know, contemplated using the, her heat press as an iron. Went in a <laughs> nice. pinch. Let's see we're here. Uh, and just more love about all the colors, all the glitters. Super pretty design. Thank you guys so much. Very cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Marion Rathbone says, that apron would stay clean on me for, for about five minutes. <laughs> you know, that's totally true. You and me both, We should have uh, We should have done like a black apron or something like that. There we <laughs> something go. Something like that. All right, let's see here. And then uh, Trudy Gilson, very, very nice. Uh, you know, please apologize, uh, forgive us if we mispronounce any of your names here. Oh, yeah. Doing our Sorry very best. That. Don't mean to butcher anything. But uh, let's keep on rolling, man. Uh, thank you let's guys for do all it. the love. Uh, what do we got coming up next, Jared? So another really popular product that you can use for your Mother's Day product, uh, projects or pretty much any other projects is Caesar Easy PSV. That's so right. now it's something that just recently launched, probably closer to the end of last year. We're just going to scoot this over a little bit. Scooch them. So you guys can still see it. There we go. 
I like the way this guy thinks. <laughs> uh, so we have a couple, and they're already, they've already been pre-cut and weeded. Oh, there we go. This bad boy is ready to roll. Not yet. Almost your time. Not yet. <laughs> Hush you. So, so we have some transfers now. Uh, we did something pretty cool with these. We're doing layered PSV today as part of one of our Mother's Day uh, right. crafts. So you can see here that we have a blacked out background. Uh, now this one's going to be a little bit different. With PSV, um, you want to fill in the complete background uh, since everything is going to go on top of it. You'll notice that for the Mother's Day design, the, the black, like we were able to leave gaps in it so it's yes. not so heavy on, on the t-shirt or on whatever garment people are wearing. But with PSV, you want to have a full and complete bottom layer. You want to fill it out completely. You don't want to have any outline gaps uh, like how we had on our apron. Gotcha, gotcha. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to trim these out. Actually, as if you want to just yeah, cut, gotcha. handle that. And then right here, guys, this is our Caesar uh, application tape. So this is very essential for uh, cutting, for weeding. I'm sorry, not for cutting, for weeding. This is for lifting and applying. Sorry, guys. My mind, st I still have HTV on the, on the brain, guys. <laughs> For lifting and applying your uh, your transfers, Caesar uh, application tape is essential. So you really you really can't be using uh, your PSV without it. So yeah, so very important. Um, oh, perfect. Already all done. Oh, and you know, I'm sorry, I forgot to. I got to split these ones up no here. No worries, here. Am I splitting this one here as well? Yeah. Can okay, you? Gotcha. So each of those are going to be split up. No problem. That's how you hand scissors go. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Pointy end out, right? I'm just joshing. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to get to these in just a second. We want to show you guys the process on how... Oh, I'm sorry. One more. My bad. My bad. See, this is what happens when I do the designs and I don't tell Esteban about <laughs> my plans. But he's, he's awesome about it. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. Um, so let's start off with our base layers, right? There we go. We're just going to do one more. Okay. So here's how you're going to layer Caesar Easy PSV. So first, you're going to have your base layer, um, which in our case is going to be this black outline of a rose. And it might not look like a rose right now, but I assure you, it's supposed to be. <laughs> so what I, what I usually do when I'm using Caesar Easy PSV is I'll cut a little bit extra more than I need, um, just so you can get a lot of good coverage on there. And Esteban, you're going to help me. We're, you're going to follow along here. So we got that, that, and I could probably use this for one more. Yes. So here's what we're going to do. First things first, we're going to get our PSV and you're going to, our application tape. Now the application, it's kind of bright in here, so you can't see the grid lines, but I assure you, here, let me shade it. No, you still can't see it. There are grid lines on this application tape. So what we're, uh, that really helps with lining things up. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel the application tape, tape off the backing. So let's go ahead and uh, Stevan's going to follow along with me here. Teamwork to make the dream work. And remember, safety first, then teamwork. There we go. That's right. So if you ever want to know what's more important than teamwork, it's safety. Let's see, with the backing removal, you can kind of see that signature Caesar oh, grid lines there. Yeah, hold it over Very your black shirt. Very distinct and unique to that. There we go. That's, that's perfect. There we go. So now you see these grid lines. You can use it. Um, I like to use the grid lines when trimming it down because then I can use it to kind of center my graphic. That's make right. Make sure everything's perfectly, perfectly gorgeous. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fold it in the middle. So what you want to do is you want to get your get this, fold it in the middle, uh, around like a center line, and then we're just going to drop it down in the center, and then let it just kind of flow out. Now the reason why we go center and out is because that really helps us to eliminate the bubbles. Uh, if you want more detailed instructions on how to use Caesar Easy PSV, we actually have a tutorial on our YouTube channel. We just posted it up, so make sure you go to youtube.com slash heatpressnation. But just so you guys can see exactly like how much effort goes into it, you know, how difficult or how hard it is uh, to use this, we wanted to show you guys it's not very difficult or hard at all. If I can do it, you guys can do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's super easy, that's why it's called Easy PSV. Now, I seem to have misplaced my squeegee, but no worries. When you're using uh, Caesar Easy PSV, you can kind of rub it out with your thumb, with your finger. If you have a credit card handy, like my boy, if you have a, your Disneyland signature uh, annual pass right there, uh, like Esteban, you can also use a credit card 
basically any hard object. Like I have, I'm using the blunt end of these scissors here. The reason we're doing this is because you want the application tape to make full contact with whatever you're picking up. So now, here's the fun part. For our sample today, what we're pressing is this shadow box. Now this shadow box is blank inside, but we're, we're gonna be decorating the exterior glass portion of our shadow box. Um, you could put, and then it looks really cool. It adds like a 3D dimension, That's right. a 3D layer, because whatever you put underneath, um, and this one happens to have like a, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna show it to the camera here. This one happens to have like a canvas, Look at that. Um, a canvas under layer. So you could even heat transfer uh, some vinyl on there if That's you right. wanted to. I'm not sure where you guys are sourcing your shadow boxes. Um, no, this is yeah. awesome, man. This isn't just going to be limited to something like Mother's Day. I mean, I've seen awesome stuff like this at weddings, uh, you know, engagement parties, uh, gender reveals. You know, there's really no limit on, you know, as far as your imagination, what you can do with these steps and processes. So yeah. very versatile sort of transfer here with this awesome shadow box. So I'm going to peel my black layer right off just like that. It's that easy, guys. The application tape comes right off. Now with this, I'm gonna have to be a little careful with the application on here because the glass on here is a little sensitive ah. and I did crack it already. Uh, not now, when we were testing. There we so go. anyways, so I'm just gonna lay this down. What you wanna do is you usually wanna go down by the center uh, and just kind of roll it on. So we're gonna get a camera on here right now so you guys can see how it's done. There we go. So I'm just gonna kind of put this on here. There we go. And I'm going to be gentle at first just because I don't want to uh, mess it up. S, you can actually put yours over here in this corner if you want All to. All right. And we're just going to gently, let's see if this will work. I'm kind of just using my fingernail to squeegee it in because I don't want to damage this glass. It's kind of thin. And then when you, I'll wait for him to do it. So you... All right. So now you're going to grab from the corner and you're going to peel against itself. So don't you don't want to lift up. You want to lift, like, kind of like roll it off, like you see how Esteban's doing there? And his is looking perfect. I don't mind if we look be that nice. Oh, here you know what? Let me uh, do this. There we go. So again, I made the mistake. I kind of uh, cracked our shadow box. It's don't, okay, that doesn't show up. Don't no tell worries. the boss. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so we have our base layer now, and I'm gonna go off of Stevan's example because his is much prettier. Oh gosh. So we have our base layer, we have our base layer of the rows, and now it's time to actually apply the rows. So this process, we get to do all over again. So let me, I'm gonna have to cut some more application tape. Uh, if you guys are just joining us, be sure to like and share for your chance to win our awesome prize. As Jared's cutting that uh, more uh, application tape there for us, uh, I just want to give some more love back to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Kathy Cox, yeah, Mother's Day fun. Yeah. Uh, I do have a question here from Elizabeth Ortiz. Bring it on. All right, so is the PSV printed on with a printer or is vinyl that was cut out? So, th so PSV, the process is very similar to HTV in this sense. All, you, you pick your color vinyl and then you cut it out. If you want a multicolor design, like how we're about to do with these roses, these roses are gonna be a three color design. And so we have the black layer that we just put down. We have our red layer for the rose. And then we have somewhere in here, here we go. Some green. Then we have some green for the rose leaves. So you can see here, we have three different layers. It's gonna give the appearance of being a printed multicolor design, uh, but really we had to cut each layer uh, and we cut and weed it and apply it one layer at a time. That's right. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh, you want to, you want to, I can do this if you want to check out more comments well, and questions. Well, see if we got any more here. Um, let's see here. Uh, Marion Rathbone says she needs some of those shadow boxes. Um, oh, we got a pro tip coming in from Devin Christian. Oh, let's check it uh, out. We probably could have used this one earlier. Oh, shoot. Most shadow boxes, you can remove the glass for decoration <laughs> to avoid breaking it. So uh, appreciate that. Thank you so much, Devin. We'll definitely keep Where that in mind next time. were you three days ago when I was testing this? When no, you, I'm just kidding. When you were pressed for time? <laughs> that, it, honestly, that's an amazing tip. That's one thing Absolutely. I love about our community uh, right. of fellow creators here is that everybody's super, super helpful. Uh, that, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Obviously, I'm not the brightest guy in the universe, but hey, gets the job done. No worries, so, no worries. Uh, may I lend a hand? Oh, poor for four. All right. Actually, I'm gonna borrow your annual pass. Fun story, back in the day, and when I say back in the day, I'm talking like 2000, like what, five maybe, six? Yes. Uh, Disneyland annual passes, they would print your photograph on the back of the annual pass, 
And that's what the ticket taker would use to determine your true identity. And of course, the photos were very horrible. So let's just say, I'm not confessing to any wrongdoing live on Heat Press Nation, but let's just say a lot of my friends went to Disneyland for free in those times. They got a lot of Jared Barbosa in this. <laughs> oh, Jared Barbosa went to Disneyland like 30,000 times that year. Rock and roll, rock and roll. I remember those back in the good old days. Good, good days, good days. So, so basically, you know, you, what you would do is uh, you had a couple of friends that looked even vaguely like you, and you would just go to a nice ticket taker who didn't seem to care about their job too much. And boom, you're in. Rock and roll. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to layer our the next layer on here, which is our rose layer, so the rose petals. Now, here's the thing. We have two separate ones, so i got to line this up here and see which one is going to be... Actually, S, I think this one is... All you, baby. Right here? Okay. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to, of course, you want to line it up first, but be very careful because the thing about adhesive is that once it touches uh, your substrate or whatever you're going to be putting it on, you're, you're, you're set. You're done. It's very hard to correct that. You want to proof that for me real quick? Yeah, that's perfect. Light border? Yep. Okay. Ever so. So he's, put, so he's lined it up and then he actually makes contact, rolls it out. Uh, he's going to squeegee that on there with the uh, Esteban community. <laughs> yeah, this, community is, the, this is the business pass. development community, community annual pass. All right, and again, oh. when you peel it, you don't want to peel up, you want to kind of peel over and away. And doggone, that looks gorgeous. And put good in, get good out, give all credit to Jared on this one. Great oh, design there, that's that looking looks, awesome. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet, we got one more layer and I'm just gonna abandon that one over there. We're just kind of giving you guys different ideas that you can use. Uh, for your mothers, for your mother, the mother figures in your life. And, and hopefully, honestly, I would love to see what you guys are working on. So be sure to use the hashtag HPN Creators. It's up there right over my buddy Esteban right there. HPN Creators, guys, we want to see what you guys are working on. Would love to see what you guys are making for your mothers, for your mother figures, um, for the mothers of your children, for the mothers of your mother's children. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'd love to see what you guys are doing. And as we mentioned before, guys, it's not just about sharing your work or you know checking out awesome stuff. There's going to be more prize opportunities. So this is a new uh, campaign that we got going with the post of the week. So we're just going to try and you know really encourage you get the hashtag out there, help us grow this thing strong, and get get more chance to win prizes. So it's that easy, guys. Drop that hashtag on all your social media. It's right there. HPN creators, make sure you use it on all your social media. Boom. All right. So I kind of went ahead. Borrowing the pass here. And look at that. Boom. Beautiful. So now let's just give a let's just give us now don't don't look at the bad part. Don't look at my mistake here. But look, see, so I'm, I'm even gonna cover it. <laughs> you see right there, you see that rose, how it's like a 3D rose. Uh, on the, this is on the glass of our shadow box. If you, I'm, I don't know if we can get it to see the 3D angleness of it. We should have put a picture behind there. But anyways, check that out. That's something you can do with Caesar Easy PSV. Uh, and we have lots of different colors available, guys. We have like chalkboard just became available. That's right. uh, we have glitter. Um, but today we're also going to do some rose gold. So this is the last part of our PSV project that we're going to show you guys. Right, We're going to do some rose gold really quick just because we love this stuff. Rose gold is so hot right now. Now, PSV is awesome. I mean, it comes in a couple different uh, um, styles. You have your removable and your permanent. Uh, your removable, you know, something maybe if you wanted to go on to a uh, painted wall where you don't want to worry about the finish. Uh, the permanent, I would definitely advise maybe something that's going to be outdoors or something dealing with your elements. Yeah. So um, a few months back, uh, our good buddy uh, Joe Piazza showed by. He actually did a really nice uh, uh, PSV demo on your car, right? If I recall. Ha ha. No, that, it was ha, awesome. Yeah, ha, it was ha. really big full. <laughs> color graphic. I think it's Joe was here. Uh, That's you, vandalism in 13 states, all right? If you want to take a look at that, you can visit our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash heatpressnation. It's going to be in our questions with Joe segment. The URL is right there below, guys. Super awesome video. We actually got some more projects cooking from that day coming out short, uh, soon, right? Yes, we do. So we're That's able right. to get a lot of stuff done with our great friend, Joe. And then uh, our gal, Melissa Cox, was in town as well. She was actually uh, you know, schooling us, putting us up on knowledge uh, on the whole uh, pressure-sensitive vinyl. Uh, shout out to Melissa Cox, our resident PSV expert. Um, yeah. You know, then, oh, I was about to say, you know what's, what's, in, what's interesting about uh, Caesar Easy PSV? 
um, is that Caesar also released another product called Caesar Adhesive. And you know what? We just got to say this. They're not the same thing. No, they're, they're not. not. <laughs> you know, um, so when you're ordering, make sure that you guys don't go for Caesar Adhesive. That's actually an HTV product, which we should probably be showing you guys, uh, you know, at some point in the near future. Um, but the reality is, is that it's not, uh, it's not PSV. So Caesar Adhesive does not equal Caesar PSV. They're actually two different products. Um, so make sure when, you're, when you want to do these products, go to our site, look for Caesar Easy PSV. It has lots of different, uh, lots of different products, different finishes, uh, and different, as you mentioned, as the stuff I mentioned, different adhesion levels. That's right. Permanent and removable, super helpful, so you don't strip the paint off of your nursery once your baby grows out of it. Out of the, the happy face clouds and sunshine. Exactly. You know, uh, just to go back onto that Caesar uh, adhesive, you know, a telltale sign you are getting actual vinyl is you're going to be able to select the color. So <laughs> you want to make sure that you are picking your color and your size. If it's a roll or sheet, you know, definitely something to keep in mind. We were just talking about this earlier in the day here uh, about the uh, adhesive not being sticker vinyl, not being heat transfer. So just some food for thought there, guys. And, uh, Let's see here, Jared's got our rose gold design here that we're going to do on top of the black cat. And uh, this is looking like it's coming out awesome. Yeah, so now here's the tough part. So you got to you gotta align it right before you actually lay it down. Um, this can prove to be a little difficult because once you put it down, it's down. So I'm going to do my best to get this. There we go. Okay. It's down. There we go. And that's why I give myself, you know, so when you're doing this, make sure you give yourself a, a good amount of a uh, kind of bleed area, a good amount of background to work with. So that way, in case you miss a little, well, you still make it. Yeah, some wiggle or play, you know, just a little uh, safety zone. There Not to be go. confused with the danger zone. <laughs> and then right there. I'm just going to mash that down a little bit. There we go. And look at that. That's an Dude. awesome 3D effect there. I love when we work with the rose gold. So hot right, right now. there. Uh, so the rose gold right there, you can see it says Happy Mother's Day in that rose gold finish. That's Look super that. shimmery, super nice, super cute. You can put this over a picture, guys. Shadow boxes for Mother's Day. These things are amazing. And we're making them right here on Heat Press Nation Live. That's right. You know, speaking of HPN Live, if you guys haven't already, I want to remind you really quick, we do have a new contest running. It's super easy to get involved, guys. What do they got to do, Jared? All you have to do is like and share this post. You know, we should give them a second. second. Put a cup, put a second on the clock there. All right. All right, guys, ready? All you have to do right now is like and share this post to be entered to win next week's prize. Uh, go ahead and do it now. One Mississippi. All right, there, there we go. go. Your time's up. Uh, no, just your time's not up, you guys. Uh, you really, you have until uh, next Wednesday to enter. Entries do close 3 p.m. next Wednesday. Uh, so make sure that you are uh, entered by then. Also, one more thing we want to show you guys, if you want to be notified every time we go live, just do us a favor, look on your screen there, open up the Facebook app, and you're going to want to tap on the video, and then tap on the three dots in the top right corner of that video, and to open up the menu, and just turn on live notification. Boom. Just tap that, it's just a couple steps. You want to open up the video, three dots, tap to turn on live notifications, and so you're saying, well, what does that even do? Did you just hack my phone? No, we didn't do anything of the sort. All that does is it turns on notifications for you so you can be alerted anytime we're going live. We go live not just on the Thursday mornings, but we're live uh, from the office a couple times a week, uh, whether it's sharing new information or uh, have a couple tutorials coming up. Uh, so if you want to learn some cool new techniques, how to press, how to cut, how to design, uh, we have those coming up for you. So make sure you do that. Turn on the live notifications. There we go. It's that easy, guys. Make sure you get involved. Don't miss a beat. We definitely don't want to miss you guys. Uh, but man, Jared, that, that came out awesome, dude. It's pretty I mean, nifty, huh? It's, it's inspiring, to, so to speak here. I mean, we definitely got some time, guys. We're trying to help you get in front of the calendar. I know we got some procrastinators out there. I'll be yes. honest, you know, I, I sometimes leave things to the last second. So you definitely want to make sure that, you know, no, no excuses. You got the time. You got the time. Let's see here. We got some more comments coming in here. Uh, Desiree Cisco, she was actually a, a custom framing manager. Oh, nice. She says she would have let you go for breaking the glass in that frame. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Elizabeth Ortiz has another question. I think we may have gotten to this one. Is the PSV a temporary or permanent bond? It's both. 
So Caesar PSV, uh, easy PSV, it comes in removable, which is perfect for like drywall. Actually, so this this is not, we actually we put this up before Caesar launched their PSV line, but it's a very similar product. Uh, it's meant for drywall. Uh, it's meant for uh, temporary applications. Um, you, but then they also have the Caesar Permanent. So Caesar Permanent, that's what you're gonna wanna use for your outdoor decals, like a car um, or a car or a car. No, I'm just kidding. Oh god. There's lots of other stuff you can do. You can store fronts, uh, you know, window signage, things like that. You know, want to have your hours of operation, your contact info, something that's not going to wash off with the first rain when we get that eventually around yeah. here. <laughs> I know, right? But I mean, there's also like the etch sort of effect for the PSV yeah. also. So you can use that for etched glass. That's going to be a permanent. Uh, and then not only etch is permanent, but you have glow. Caesar glow is permanent and so is glitter. Hey. So glitter is super rad, guys. Glitter, you want that glitter uh, Caesar Easy PSV. And then I believe we even have a chalkboard, right? That's right, yes. So you can turn any wall or surface into a totally functional chalkboard on the go. That's awesome. Great for, you know, inspiring, you know, creativity at any age. So that's super right. Endless random. possibilities with the new PSV line. Shout out to Caesar. And we go here. We got more folks jumping in, getting the like and shares in. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Rochelle Caldwell is asking, what size heat press is that? I'm assuming so she's this, referring to this one here. Yes, yeah, so this is our HPN Black Series 15 inch by 15 inch swing away heat press. I love it um, because it swings away as the name implies. You get a free workspace here so you don't have to worry about burning your fingers, reaching underneath the heating element like with the clamshell. So this one is cool because it swings, actually, it swings both ways. Fits in really well here in Southern California. And yeah, so it's super <laughs> awesome heat press. We love it. Um, you can get it at heatpressnation.com. Right on, there we go, guys. I mean, you saw how we layered six, count them, half a dozen different kinds of vinyl, make yes. this awesome apron. You guys saw how we went step by step. Super easy to make your own custom awesome oh, shadow that, box. That would, that would have uh, been easier right there. Yeah, it's okay, it's all good. Uh, but we're not done yet, guys. We got one more awesome project. Uh, we're talking about sublimation here, right? Yes. Excellent. So, uh, sublimation, guys, sublimation mugs. This is the money maker. I'm just kidding. You guys, sublimation mugs are something that are super awesome. Uh, and you know what's funny is that some people find them uh, intimidating because they think, you know, wow, sublimation mug, you know, I know t-shirts yes, um, and I know stickers, but like mugs, they, you know, they, they might seem a little bit outside of your realm. Well, today we're going to show you how easy it is to sublimate onto a mug. And we have a special Mother's Day design that we're doing. So now you probably won't be able to s tell what it is here for two reasons. One, it's in reverse. And two, when uh, something comes out of your sublimation printer, it's going to appear to be lighter and more like like faded. Yes. And we get these calls every now and then. It's like, oh, hey, my printer. <laughs> oh, Especially yeah. in tech now. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you always want to keep that in mind. Your printed transfer, it's not going to be the most accurate representation of what you see on the screen. Exactly. But when you press that bad boy. Exactly. Apply some heat to this transfer, press it into your substrate, and then, yes, you will have beautiful, bold, vibrant colors uh, like what we're going to show you today. So now, typically, you've seen um, mugs. Uh, this is an 11-ounce mug, which is cool because it allows us to go edge to edge. We call that a full bleed. And we're going to show you what our full bleed transfer looks like and how to do it. So all I'm going to do here, oh, and this is a pro tip that I picked up from uh, a customer, is that we, what we used to do is we used to do our tape, tape long ways. Mm -hmm. But you can actually get away with doing it like this. Right on, right on. Putting the tape, like just a little strip right there. We used to do it long ways, cover the full edge, but that's actually not necessary, um, which is amazing because not only does it save you tape, but it's so much easier to peel. There we go. So here's what we do. Get your mug in one hand, you're transferring the other. Make sure it's not upside down. <laughs> if you guys saw a couple episodes ago that I, I accidentally did it upside down. There we go. And you're gonna wanna kinda hold it in your hand and make sure that it's uh, it's centered, centered with the handle. So you see this, there's a gap right here. Yes. Uh, and you want it to be centered with the handle in between the edges of your transfer. Uh, you don't want the edges too close to the transfer because you want uh, because this area right here, within I believe a half inch on either side of the handle. That's right. It doesn't get uh, enough pressure to really get your transfer in there. So you don't want to go handle to handle um, because it's not going to press properly. So I've kept mine. Uh, within the safe distance. Awesome. And now what we're gonna do is, since this is a full bleed, I got a little bit of paper on the outside, on the bottom, a little bit of paper on the outside, on top. I'm just gonna line it up, make sure everything is nice and even. 
There we go. Which it sounds like it's easy, but it's it's not hard. This transfer here was printed onto a text print R. Our printer was actually the Sawgrass SG400. Uh, it's available as a kit with a pack of the text print and a full ink supply. And then uh, we're securing this in here using our heat tape. Heat tape will yes. be your best friend when doing sublimation transfers. Uh, it's just a temperature resistant adhesive that's not gonna leave any sort of residue. You can use this with a number of your transfers. Um, our boy Renee Gonzalez, who helps mm -hmm. out uh, time to time, shout out to Renee, actually gave me a pro tip recently with the heat tape when I was applying a heat transfer paper press onto a white garment. So using the heat oh, tape, nice. we were actually able to keep that nice and secure in position, left no blemish, no residue, super awesome, very helpful to work with. Again, it's our heat tape under supplies at heatpressnation.com. Okay, so you'll see what I did. I got a blank mug with nothing on it, uh, and I put it in there to test the pressure. Now, you, when, it's important to, to double check the pressure before any before you start any run of heat press. You might think, well, I haven't touched it since the last time I used it, but better safe than sorry. So what I did was I got an empty mug and I put it in there. It's not gonna hurt the mug uh, to test it. You can even do this while the machine is cold before you power it on. But since ours is already hot, I checked it with a blank mug and now I have my wrapped mug um, ready to roll. So the way we do it is um, open side faces the brain. That's what I call it anyways. And then now we're gonna close it, making sure that the mug is perfectly centered. There's a little gap right here. So you see how the mug handle is perfectly centered in between these two black plates. Uh, we got 385 degrees um, that it was set to. We have 190 seconds on the clock. And when this comes out, it should be a beautiful 11 ounce mug with full bleed top to bottom uh, on our Mother's Day design. So let's give that about a couple minutes there. There we go. If I could just touch on one thing, you guys may have been able to see on the display there. Once we had that mug, that substrate actually in the element, the temperature display actually dropped a little bit. Right. This is going to be normal. This is not yes. a cause for concern. Uh, once it achieves that temperature that you do see displayed with the present value, that's the amount of heat that's coming out. Yeah. However, when you are inserting a substrate like a coffee mug, I mean, you know how these ceramic things are. If they're not already in the press, they're going to be likely cold to yeah. the touch. That is going to have an effect on your present value display temperature. So not to be worried or concerned. Uh, if you do have any questions about that, you can always give us a ring. The number's right there at the bottom. Or you can visit us at Heat Press Nation. Uh, I, I, that was all correct, right? Yes, okay, 100%. Perfect. Awesome, awesome. Excellent. <laughs> now, this is the calls we get, brother. We got, um, we got about two minutes left on the clock two minutes. there. Okay, awesome. Uh, we got some shout outs coming in from Pensacola, Florida. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Go here. Thank you, guys. Now, we got a couple users in here. They're saying we're, we're being partially wasteful with our application tape. Oh, yeah. It's because, I mean, we work here. We get it by the ton. Yeah, but I mean, in the meat, in the, in the realm of efficiency, and you know, really trying to uh, make everything last, you can definitely reuse a lot of these materials uh, to you know keep going through. So we're just trying to keep everything nice and flowing and going up here. Yeah, and here on Heat Press Station Live, you'll notice there are a couple, a couple steps that we might skip. For example, when we pressed our apron, we didn't use like a T square yeah. like we should have. Don't get me wrong. I don't want you guys all out there eyeballing <laughs> all your designs that you're charging people for. Uh, but usually here on Heat Press Nation Live, we're more focused on the actual process of, you know, today we're talking about layering. So yes. we mostly emphasize just the layering and may have taken a couple of shortcuts, which is not good. We're not condoning that. But, you know, it's just kind of the nature of working on a, on a live broadcast. This is all live. Like, we don't pre-record any of this. this is, if you see us mess up, like, I cracked that. I really did crack that. Like, none of this is, like, scripted or anything like yeah. that. You know, so everything you see is, is totally authentic here on stage. We might pre-cut something in advance. Uh, maybe pre-weed it like we did for the PSV today. That's right. But that's really the only uh, kind of extra things that you're not that you're not catching. So, yes, we definitely could be a lot more conservative on there. There we um, go. Cut us a break. <laughs> it's okay. They, they, they know the love goes uh, yeah. back and forth here. Now um, I have a warehouse full of that stuff anyway. There so. we go. <laughs> uh, we get to touch on the machine here really quick. As Jared mentioned, we are working with our signature series automated seconds. mug press. Um, the element that is included with this machine is super awesome. As you see, we are doing the standard 11 ounce size, but this can also accommodate the second most common, I would say, 15, 15 ounce. ounce. Yes, sir. In addition, we got a awesome 16 ounce frosted beer stein uh, that can also be accommodated as well. Who knows, maybe Father's Day will be uh, showing that off. Okay, so our time is down to zero. I'm just gonna pop this open here, pull that out. Now be careful, this area tends to get hot after a little while. It's not a thousand percent hot yet. Uh, and so here's what's cool about the full bleed mug. Let's get this back on, on camera too, if you don't mind. There we are. So right here, 
I'm just gonna grab from the top and just peel it off. You kind of, as much as possible, get that in one smooth motion. There we go. Ah, farts, it's oh. hot. Part okay. of my part of my language. And so here you see our full bleed. I'm gonna show this to the camera. Can you guys catch that? Boom! It says Happy Mother's Day. And then we have the picture of our mother. It's actually a stock photo, sorry guys. There we go. And then now you know if you're wondering, wait, why is it faded in the center? It's by intention. It's like a, it's called an ombre, guys. <laughs> there we go. As you so, can see, oh, hey. guys, we did have uh, that just to show you there. Oh yeah. Let's see if that's gonna go oh, up here. Wow. Kind of. All right. So the anyways, there we go. So here we have our Mother's Day mug. You saw how long that took. I think in total, if you count the time that it took to. Uh, to print that, cut that, tape it, and press it. We're at about five minutes. Now you can significantly, now you can't shorten up this time. This is gonna take you 190 seconds, which is like three minutes and 10 seconds. It's gonna take you 190 seconds to press, but one thing you're doing, if you're making a bunch of these, is print them all at once. Uh, if you're running an Etsy store, instead of saying, I mean, you could say ships next day, mm -hmm. which could encourage customers, um, but maybe for some less popular items, just put ships within one to two, three business days. That way, or maybe don't print anything until the end of your day. Or you print, you know, that way you print everything at once. You trim all your transfers down at once. You put them all in the mugs at once. If you go for a production uh, line kind of setting in your home office or your business, yes, it drastically reduces the time. Instead of taking five minutes a mug, you can get that down uh, to probably like four or less. Awesome. There we go. I mean, that, that came out great, guys. I mean, as you can see, you know, it's that easy. You know, sublimation, if you haven't dove into it yet, it's not as complicated as it seems. It's just following your time and temperature, going with your printer settings, and you can make something awesome, one of a kind. And you're not just limited to coffee mugs. I highly encourage all of you guys, if you want some inspiration on what you can start sublimating onto, you can go ahead and check out heatpressnation.com. I believe the second to last link is going to be sublimation blanks. Awesome section for you know inspiration, getting cool ideas. I mean, Definitely. we got name tags. We've done the photo panels. Oh uh, yeah, I think we, we may so have won an award. Here. I think possibly I think uh, we did. Think once we in the did. past. So I mean, you're really as always just going to be limited by your imagination. So definitely want to check out the sublimation blank section of heatpressnation.com. Awesome. Uh, we've been forgiven for our uh, wastefulness of the uh, thank you, Lee Vol. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, we got some love from the East Bay. Barbara Goldsmith coming in from Walnut Creek. Loves oh, sublimation. Cool. Awesome, awesome. There we go. Uh, yeah. I think we may have just addressed this one if you want to get that, Jared. Desiree Sisko is asking, what cup press is that? Oh, so this is our signature series uh, sublimation mug press. So this one comes standard with uh, one heating element, which is good. We call, I call it a cuff because it looks like a cuff. But anyways, I come it standard it sleeve. Sleeve, yeah, very common term. Uh, so it comes with one heating element, one sleeve cuff thing, uh, and that's gonna fit both your uh, 11 ounce mugs and your. We don't have one on the table, but it also fits 15 ounce mugs. You just kind of adjust. It has a dual uh, adjustment here, not only on the back but on the front. You can adjust I for decide. perfect pressure on your mugs. Pressure is essential. Consistent temperature and pressure is essential for proper mug transfers, uh, and that's exactly what you get with the sublimation mug press from the HPN Signature Series line. There we go, it's that easy guys. Uh, if you have questions, as we said earlier, on any of the processes or products, we do have friendly representatives standing by, numbers at the bottom of the screen, feel free to give us a call at 800-215-0894, we can get you guys set up today. Or if you do have any questions, make sure you have all that information so you can start doing stuff like this at home. You know, you got some time before Mother's Day, so yes. no excuses guys, she deserves None. it. Let's make this happen this year. Hook up with this is sweet the apron. Year. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Uh, I got another question coming. Oh, this is more of a comment, I guess. Uh, needing a larger heat press so I can use the full 13 by 19 uh -oh, sheet. Oh, very nice. What's the answer if they want to do the full 13 by 19? Uh, you can go 1620 or a 16 by 24 if you want that uh, extra leeway. I would actually recommend a 16 by 24 because at 19 inches, you're going to be within a half inch top and bottom of the edge of the heat press. That's right. Which could make things, I don't want to say difficult, but uh, you there with any heat press, the outer edge, usually the outer quarter or half inch, um, is not gonna be as hot as the rest of it. Uh, and that's just physics, it's closest to the outside, it's gonna get the most wind, the most yeah. air, you know, it's gonna be the furthest away from the heating coils. So I would actually recommend a 16 by 24 if you're gonna be using a full 13 inch by 19 inch uh, size. That's a big press, that's, that's a big that's transfer. A, that's a big transfer, yeah. Rock and roll, now more power to you guys. 
Oh man, so I mean, you guys have seen what we've done here. As always, we'd love to see what you guys are creating out yes. there. I mean, the Facebook group Heat Press Nation creators, so active, so awesome to see all the you know great pieces of custom work that they're creating out there. So you know, your work could be the inspiration for someone else. So highly encourage you guys if you haven't already, check out the Facebook group Heat Press Nation creators. Great source of peer information, support, and an avenue to show your work. Very cool stuff, guys. Well, we're coming to the end of our show. If you guys are just joining us, thank you so much. You're not too late. You didn't miss the biggest of all actions. We're giving away a silhouette cameo in just a moment. But before we do, we wanted to talk about a new segment that's coming up every week here on Heat Press Nation Live, which is Post of the Week. So every week, we reach out to a couple of our awesome members of the group uh, in Heat Press Nation creators. We also have uh, people using the hashtag HPN Creators on Instagram and Twitter and whatnot. Uh, and so every week we like to showcase some user uh, submitted artwork. So first one up, now I do apologize. We're, I'm gonna have to comment the names afterwards because I got the names mixed up and I'm not sure. I'm not saying not sure which one is which, but I got the names mixed up on these. So we're Oops. gonna showcase, we're gonna give full credit in the comments, but check out this awesome, and we're just gonna call it uh, user, user number A. Right on, number Look at this is here. my number. But check this out. Now, what's cool about this is this is all in vinyl. So now that that pig, the golfing pig, which I think is super cool and clever, that's actually pink on the pig. I'm not sure the specific color. We got like it looks like we have maroon on the pants, some black to to form the background. Uh, what is that? Gray on the club, some white for the golf ball, and uh, I think that's it. So so here you see some really keen layering work. Oh, we also have some white on the glove. Some really keen layering work. Honestly, like I think this is awesome. This is really cool. Uh, submitted by a member of our Heat Press Nation Creators group. Um, and I think this is pretty rad. No, that came out awesome. I mean, you, just, you look at the intricacy there, the layering. I mean, uh, it really just shows you you can really combine a number of different colors, you know, not just in your Mother's Day apron, but I mean, this is going to be an awesome piece for, you know, employees or, you know, business, you know, folk there. So really awesome and, you know, a way to open up your, your cash flow, you know, yeah. to, you know, your small businesses, to your local Saddle Ridge, to your, you know, coffee shop, what have you. So really awesome to see here, guys. Great work. Great yeah, work. super awesome. Now for the next one, I I really like this design because of the message. Funerals don't count, spread love now. Dude, that's like so true. No, that's awesome. I like the yeah. font work here on there. Yeah, um, that's super rad, especially for vinyl. You know, typically like a distressed font. Yes. It's tough to do. No, I mean, you can see it right there. Look at the love now, the intricacy of there. I mean, you do have that awesome distressed look, but that's the result of careful weeding, uh, nice cutting. Looks like the blade settings were perfect to really get that intricacy in there, get that detail down. So, I mean, this is obviously, obviously a pro here, someone who knows their vinyl cutting, their weeding. Uh, awesome shirt. I would rock that. Super rad. And then we have one more. This one is super cool because April was Autism Awareness Month, and as you know, uh, I, the color blue and puzzle pieces they do they are symbols of that uh, you know kind of movement there uh, and it's super awesome I love them again I love the message here I teach compassion super rad and then this was sub so this is if you're seeing all the different colors of the glitter and the white glitter background you're saying wait you can't layer glitter on glitter no but you can sublimate onto white glitter Oh wow, is that what we're looking at here? That's what we're looking at. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean that, that is an awesome, because uh, you know with sublimation, there are definitely going to be material or compatibility requirements. So if you're working on a substrate like the coffee cup we did today, you want to make sure that it's labeled and identified for sublimation. Right. That's just going to be an indicator that is treated with a polymer film coating. If you are looking to be going onto fabric, you can sublimate onto material, it just needs to be 100% polyester, and we do advise white or light colors, just so you can see the most accurate representation of your colors but exactly. as Jared just mentioned you can sublimate onto white glitter yes so if you so if you're cool having that white glitter background sublimate onto the white glitter and then you can have the appearance of like stuff being overlaid different colors super rad stuff honestly big fan of sublimating onto glitter again this is the first time we're launching a, a post of the week pow uh, <laughs> so uh, I'll be sure to give full credit to the comments I'm gonna pin that comment to the top, that way you guys can see who's making this awesome, these awesome things. So let's go ahead and uh, let's pick who, who do you think should win post of the week? Really, let's, you know, let's open it up to the viewers. I like that, I like that guys. Putting the ball in your court guys, you were the judge and jury today, so let's see what your thoughts are. You know, this is a community thing, so I wanna you know, give it to the community to decide, was it entry A? 
A, which would have been the uh, the golfing pig. Yes. Entry B. Entry B, uh, which would have been the don't the awesome wait. distress text. Yeah, the distress that, text. Funerals don't count. Spread love now. Or was and it entry, entry C? Entry C, which is going to be I teach compassion. But the sublimated glitter, super rad, super awesome. Do us a favor. Vote in the comments. And there's entry A there one more entry time, a, guys. Beautiful just stuff. for your uh, consideration, guys. So uh, make sure you drop those in the comments. A, B, or C. We'll be announcing that in a later post. But we do have a prize to give away today. today. That's right. Who's ready yes. to win a brand new Silhouette Cameo 3? Last week was such me, an awesome... Me, me, me. Oh, they're, they're saying me. They all there want it. There we go. Last week was such an awesome start. Probably one of our most successful episodes ever. It was yes. a great kickoff to the new new season. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and get this rolling I here. I got all the names right here. How I do you want to do this? I kind of want to make it rain winners, man. All uh, right. Actually, technically, I'd be making it rain the losers and one oh, winner. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So, uh, so, why don't you hear... Let's do this. What you just the catch ball, one, or just different Yeah, no, I'm just going to do a couple. Or... When you feel like you have a winner in the air, right. you catch it. Right. You guys ready for this little unconventional? Let's try this. You ready? All right. All right. If any of you guys really need a cameo, you should probably start praying now that Esteban picks your name. All right, let's do it. We got some losers in there, maybe some winners. Is there a winner there? I don't know. Oh, yeah. We got some more. Yeah. We got some more. So, give, me, give me a big one. Give me a big one. Big one. There we go. That's, that's all of them. You better catch one. I got it. We got... I think this is an employee entry here. Aww. All right, so someone oh, snuck in there. Who is it? Who is it? Who is, it? <coughs> is that Mike? Ha, <laughs> this is Mike. There we Sorry, go. Mike, you can't win. Monisha Black. So, Monisha Black, you are a winner of our contest for a silhouette cameo. Three. Not this one, of course. We're going to be getting a brand new one over to you. Here's all you got to do. Shoot us a direct message either here on Facebook or to support at heatpressnation.com. Uh, or we'll be reaching out to you because, duh, you liked and shared it. So we're just going to go through our shares. We'll find you. We'll get a hold of you. Uh, yeah, congratulations. Thank you so much to everybody who entered. Uh, this is, again, the season two. And I'm just going to hold it up because I love it. Season two winner here. Boom. Silhouette cameo. Right here. Brand new. Again, not this exact one because we need this for pictures. But one of these right here. It's a 12-inch cutter. Super amazing. Probably my favorite piece of equipment in this whole building, believe it or not. So many people have started their businesses with a silhouette cameo. So many people have made their money, their living, whether it's a second income, your primary income, your vacation money, your fun money, uh, whatever it is. You guys are so much awesome stuff uh, that you can do with the silhouette cameo with you. We're so happy to have Monisha Black be our winner. <laughs> <laughs> he has his name right there. We're so happy to have her as our winner. Uh, right. And thank you again so much to everybody who entered uh, man, what a fun way to kick off season two, man. No, that's right. But, you know, for those of you who did not get a chance to win that today, we do have a new contest running next week. Should we, should we tell them what the prize is? We're giving away a vinyl sample pack. So, what does that mean? It means that all the awesome stuff that you guys saw here today, we're giving away a little bit of Caesar PSV, a little bit of Caesar glitter, a little bit of Caesar easy weed. Uh, we're giving away a special pack curated by yours truly, your uh, me and Estevan. And uh, we're going to be shipping that out to our winners. So if you like and share this post, you'll be entered to win a vinyl sample pack. And if you're winner of post of the week, you'll be getting a winner's choice roll of vinyl. So any roll of Caesar Easy Weed. Rock and uh, roll. Or Easy Weed probably with Easy Weed Stretch, Easy Weed Extra. Any of the Easy Weed label products, you are going to get winner's choice. Uh, so guys, make sure you vote for whoever you think should be the winner. There we go. Uh, there right, in the guys. comments. Please keep your comments in this post because we're only going to check the comments here if you comment on our page or somewhere else we're probably not going to see those so if you want to comment for who should be the winner of of the uh of the prep post of the week post of the pow post of the week <laughs> a b or c guys we got great choices uh really no wrong answer there but we want to know what you the community think once right. again guys a uh, exhibit a exhibit a submission b and entry c. c there we go Beautiful. I think they're all winners in my book, but Absolutely. we can only give away one prize. So let's uh, we'll let you guys pick that. That's Wait. right. So uh, I th honestly, I think that's gonna do it for us today. But before we go, the biggest of biggest shout outs to uh, 
all the mothers out there, honestly, That's motherhood right. is probably the toughest job on the planet. And if you don't think so, take care of kids. You probably have never babysat a kid if you, if don't, you think. don't think that. <laughs> I completely agree with that one, guys. Yeah. Uh, this episode is dedicated to you know our moms, your moms, all the moms mom. out there. You know, Hi, mom. My mom watches this sometimes. Oh uh, man, I, I, when I go home, I show them. I, yeah. Yeah, I make nice. them sit through a couple of these. But uh, yeah, we love you guys, all the mothers out there. Thank you so much for tuning in, making this a very special episode. And we'll see them next time. See you guys next week. Adiós.